Do you want to open up a coffee shop, but you don't have much money? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to be reacting to a video called a roadside coffee stand in Philippines selling more than a hundred cups a day to see if they're the real deal. Now let's dive right in. Hello friends. My name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a profitable small business and a thriving food business. If this is the type of video that you enjoy, reaction videos, my analysis, my feedback, my reaction, my personal stories on these videos, make sure you guys smash the like button. So then that way we can help it with the YouTube algorithm, show it to more people. So then that way I know this is the type of content that you enjoy. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. All right. This is so cool. A lot of people do not understand what is product market fit. Now, let me give you a small introduction about product market fit. It is because oftentimes we always start with something we're passionate about. We start selling things that we want to the marketplace, accepting and shoving things down their throat. But in reality, the market will tell us what they enjoy, what do they not enjoy. So actually, when we're starting a business, we should always start from our customers, see what they're wanting, see what they're needing, provide them what it is that solves their needs. And that's exactly why it's so important for you to be able to do this, to build a thriving business, to understand what your customers are wanting, listen to what your customers are wanting and not be stubborn. And I think this is why these guys are so busy because people are telling them, giving them real life feedback. 100 cups. Once again, I really appreciate people who are go-getters during this pandemic. There are the 80 to 90% of the people who did not do anything because of the pandemic, because they feel like that, you know what, everyone is on a break. You know what, I don't need to do anything. Let's just ride this whole thing through. And then there are the other 20% of the people who takes control of their own lives, who is trying to get ahead of people, who is actually not letting the external circumstances control their own life. And that's how we need to be able to have this mindset in order for us to thrive. So definitely appreciate this. Wow. That is so inspiring, so good, so good. These guys have actually embodied two big lessons when starting the business. First of all, listen to your customers. Your customers will tell you what they want in the marketplace because you should always sell what they want. Business is a solution to a problem. If you're not solving a problem, then you have no business, which is the reason why if they keep selling instant coffee, they're not going to have a business. It doesn't solve the problem of someone wanting a good cup of brewed coffee. Second of all is actually doing the research because they are, they have the humility to know that they're not good enough. So therefore they join online communities to help them out. So if you're watching this video, that means you on the same boat as these guys too, because you have the humility to go out to learn, equip yourself with more knowledge because that's what's going to set you apart from the 99% of the people out there who's doing it on themselves. So imagine when you have this advantage, that is a massive advantage over someone else doing this by themselves without the knowledge that you are taking in right now. Originated to local farmers in Salinga, Sagada, Dengue, 
Apo, tsaka po yung baraho from Batangas. Locally planted po lahat ng mga pinso nanggagaling sila from northern part of Luzon. Tapos ngayon po nakapagdagdag kami ng dalawa from Mindanao po, Mount Apo, tsaka Kalaman City. The reason why this works so well is when they are sourcing from local. This is part of marketing, guys. Part of the marketing because there's familiarity when your customers, when their customers are knowing that these beans came from locally. It means that, you know what, they're supporting their local community. They're actually supporting things that they have heard about from different cities that they have heard about. This gives them a sense of comfort in a very tough time. In tough times when there are tons of uncertainties, people go back to what they feel that is safe, okay? And that's the reason why comfort food is so popular now with any type of business model. So definitely, if you guys wanna learn more about what is in trend, definitely check out this video where we talk about the top trends that is happening right now. So definitely go for the comfort food. That's gonna help you out when you're creating a new business. customer kami from UK, sabi niya, yung local coffee natin is papantay na sa mga branded na coffee. Hindi niya rin po kasi alam kung bakit yung mga tao daw nag spend ng hundreds of bucks. Isa man talang... Something that's really cool as well is that they utilize a lot of UGC, user-generated content. And I always say this, what other people have to say about you has so much more weight than what you post about yourself. So that's the reason why we always, always incentivize people to get UGC, user generated content. These guys are so good, so smart. These guys are so good. And the reason why I say that these guys are so good is because people who appreciate brewed coffee, they're looking for an aspiration of a lifestyle that they're looking for. And these guys, they actually studied their customers to know what their customers are wanting, to have this minimalistic look, to actually enjoy the scenic route, to actually enjoy these items and to soak everything in, the nature and everything, just really combining into this whole experience because not only are they selling coffee, they are selling an experience here. The fact that they understand this is why they're able to be so popular. Super savvy business people. And if you wanna be savvy like these people, make sure you guys smash the like button because once again, it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm to show more of these content to people that value it. And then that way, I know this is the type of content that actually helps, and I'll create more of these valuable content just for you. So good. <laughs> so good. Oh my God, you know what? He has it spot on. The fact that they are inspiring people, helping other people, already told them and they are already a success and they feel it like that. That's exactly how I feel when I'm actually able to help you guys, impact you guys, give you guys value. And when I read the comments, it truly makes me feel super rewarded. And I always share this with Jason is that whenever I see these, I would share some of the emails that I get are super touching about us being able to help families actually get by because of the knowledge that we share with them, because of the value that we bring to them. And I share these really sad stories with Jason and how inspiring it is when, when we see them being able to thrive. And it's something that I, I feel as a team, we're super successful. Right, Jason? Awesome stuff, <laughs> coffee bros. <laughs> now we're super proud of this. Awesome stuff, guys. <laughs> Oh, so inspiring. Age doesn't matter if you work hard to succeed. So good. Believe it or not, I have hundreds of students in our academy 
And the most hardworking ones are the ones who actually have multiple jobs, have a family, and are a little bit more older in age because they truly understand this is a dream that they have put aside for way too long already. And they cannot put this aside any longer. And that's the reason why they're the ones that are more successful because they're much more committed throughout this whole process and they trust the journey. They trust by putting in the work and being truly passionate about solving a problem and being able to care about the customers. These are the secret to success and obviously being able to follow the plan that we lay out for them. That's the reason why they are the ones that are so good. Super cool. I love it. Be strong. Be proud of yourself. Don't be ashamed of what you want to do. Ignore. Okay, this is something that I do not agree with. Do not ignore negative feedback, guys, because feedback, good or bad, is always something for us to understand, for us to actually dissect, analyze. There are two types of negative feedback. Ones, there are the trolls. You know what? You can either ignore them or you can troll them back just to show your character. And oftentimes, I like to troll them back a little bit more. It shows my character a little bit. And you know what? As long as I am in line with my own character and when I'm authentic, that's okay. I don't mind that. And then there are the constructive negative feedback. For example, when people say that I do not get to the point fast enough and that, you know what, I'm rumbling too much, then that is actually constructive feedback. Now I learn to head and get to the point right away because that's how you guys absorb your information. That's the reason why do not ever ignore your negative feedback. When your customers are telling you that the food is too spicy or if it's too salty, you know what? then tone it down a little bit. Do not be stubborn. Do not have that uh, arrogance to think that you know it all. Once again, customers will tell you. You need to analyze the feedback to see what's constructive and what's a troll. Hey, instead of down ka po, gawin mo pong positive feedback po sa ranyo. Kung alimbawa, ang kagaya po namin na nagtitin na kahit anong mama niya. Nakabenta ka ng dalawa, isa, kahit yun. Huwag ka pong mawawalan siguro ng pag-asa kasi malay mo bukas. So good. Start with two cups to 10 cups to 50 cups. In your business, same thing. The hardest sale, I always say this, is the first sale because it's not the fact of you selling that first cup. It's the mental barrier. It's the psychology of actually being on the field. Think about this thing. If you're never on the field, you would never be able to lose. If you're never on the field, you'll never be able to lose. And that's the reason why people are not being willing to be on the field. They would do a ton of work and then they would do the website, they would do the social media, they would do everything, but they would never ever take the first step to go out and sell, to actually charge people money because they are scared to do so. They would always find different reasons to delay that from happening, to be a perfectionist. Oh, you know what? My website's not good enough. You know what? My product's not good enough. These are all excuses of not being on the field to have skin in the game to actually play. Because if you don't play, you don't have to lose. That's what majority of the people are scared about. Yet, when you're on the field, when you sell your first item, your first cookie, your first coffee, that's when you're on the field. That's when you're playing. That's when you can improve. So definitely do not be afraid. Go out there, take action right away. There you go. These guys are the real deal. So there you go, friends. My reaction videos of these guys who are selling a cu 100 cups of coffee in Philippines and really find it super inspiring because they listen to their customers' feedback. They created something based on the demand. And on top of that, they created an experience, something that we can all learn from. And they're putting themselves on the line, not letting their external circumstances control what they can control, which is themselves. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, my analysis, my reaction to their video. If you guys enjoy it, smash the like button so then that way I know this is the type of content that you enjoy. So then that way I create more of these just for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.